Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today's video is going to be a rather unusual one. So this video is basically telling you not to do something. Now, I've actually already gone ahead and done it, and I've recorded it in the video, so you can see what has gone wrong, where it's gone wrong, and there'll be some pop-ups on the screen telling you kind of notifications of like, don't do this, please don't. Anyway, I'm on the Microsoft Windows Insider program on the PC behind me. I also use a Microsoft account which I use on two PCs, my editing PC, which is over there, and my streaming PC, which is here. Both of which have got the same Microsoft account on, and they've got very similar installations, to be completely honest with you. So they kind of, I interact with both of them quite regularly. Now in this video, I got the information from another video. I'm not gonna mention who it was from, but some of you may kind of guess. And this is how to upgrade your system to Windows 25H2 using the latest RTM ISOs. Now it appears that doing it in some instances can cause absolute catastrophe with your system, which is what I've experienced. So I'm trying to let you know if you're in a similar situation. So this for me is because I was in the Windows Insider program, but potentially it may affect you if you're not part of that. So if you see a pop-up warning, when you're trying to do the installation that says turning off smart app control on your device, please don't do it because it's essentially impossible to get back without doing a completely fresh installation of Windows. Also, if you're in the Windows Insider program, it's almost impossible to get out of it without doing a fresh install. So essentially don't join the Windows Insider program and maybe don't try doing the upgrade to Windows 25H2 in the method that is in this video later, because it, well, in this instance, it went horribly wrong. If you don't get the message about the smart app control, I think you're absolutely fine. But if you get the message come up and you have to kind of turn off smart app control in Windows, that again is one of those things that cannot be turned back on. And to make matters worse, this is where it actually got really scary for me is the fact that I disabled it on this computer and it is supposed to be a by device thing. But after discussing this with Microsoft, not directly, but through an agent, they have basically said that there are some known bugs where if you're using the same Microsoft account on similar PCs, or if they've been cloned from a similar PC, because the PCs are so close and the Microsoft account details are all synchronized in the cloud, if you turn off smart app control on one device, potentially it can turn it off on all of them. That is scary. Another reason perhaps not to have a Microsoft account. But anyway, I digress on that. So that is enough of an introduction. Basically just don't do what I'm doing. If it asks you about turning off smart app control, I cannot stress this enough. You cannot get it back. There's various different registry hacks and things that you can do, which makes it look like it's come back on but after a couple of reboots, it basically says it's off again. So if you value your security on your Windows 11 or Windows 10 PCs, I guess, just don't do this. Anyway, with all that said, let's go into the video that I actually recorded and you can see where I went wrong. Hi, it's Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, I'm gonna show you how to potentially remove yourself from the Windows Insider program without having to absolutely nuke your Windows installation. And this is a problem for those of you that have tried to get off of 24H2 and tried to get something a little bit better and a bit more stable by getting the early release of 25H2 and you are in the Insider program. Hopefully this method should allow you to go back to a normal version of Windows, hence the new one, 25H2, the full RTM release, which is now available from Microsoft servers. So I'm going to try and install it to see if it actually resolves my problem. I don't want to nuke my computer once again. I just want to be back on the normal Windows releases. So yeah, let's see how this goes. In order to do that, let's head over to the computer and take a closer look. So here we are on our Windows desktop. This is the Insider version. So it's uh, on 25H2, but it's a like pre-release beta. And we want to go to our good friends over at Windows Central because they've just released a list of all the official RTM ISO media so you can download straight from Microsoft. So if you scroll down, all the languages are available. So whether you're on English US, English UK, Arabic, etc., 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 all the languages are there and you can download the ISO to your desktop. So I've already clicked on this one here, the English UK for X64. They've also got the ARM version as well if you're on an ARM-based computer. So download that, it's a 7.2 gigabyte download, so it's quite a hefty one, but to save the time, I've already done it. 
and I've got it on my desktop. Now the ISO itself, actually when you mount it, is gonna be problematic because it's part of the smart control system that won't allow you to mount ISOs. And if you do turn off smart control, you have to reinstall Windows, but basically that's kind of what we're doing. So what you wanna do is to go down to the bottom here and go into your Windows security settings. And if you go into app and browser control, you've got the smart app control, go into smart app control settings. As a default, it's gonna be set to on. So we're gonna set it to off. It says there, are you sure you want to turn app control off? You can't turn it back on or switch to evaluation mode unless you go to the Windows recovery option to reset this PC, et cetera, et cetera. So we're actually trying to reinstall Windows anyway. So I'm gonna go with it. Obviously, if you're gonna be doing this, please make sure this is not your main system and you have suitable backups. So if anything goes wrong, you can restore your computer to an earlier point. So that is the caveat. Make sure you've got your system backed up because this could go terribly wrong, but we're gonna do it anyway. What the hell? So I'm gonna choose yes, I'm sure. And you'll get the user account control come up. So now that is set to off. So now we can go to our Windows ISO, which we've downloaded to the desktop, right click and choose mount. This will take a little while because it's a large ISO file. And then you'll get the open file security warning about the ISO. So we click on open and then we get our ISO files. So we can click on Setup EXE. Again, user account control. Yes, that's fine. And now we've got the option for installing Windows 11. Click on Next. And then it's gonna check for updates. So now on the taskbar, we look at this window here. So we have to agree to the Windows 11 setup. Click on Accept. Now it's gonna get those updates. Your system may get stuck on getting updates for a very long time. Just be patient and wait for it to continue to the next part. And what you can do if your system has got stuck at a certain percentage, just unplug your ethernet or disable your Wi-Fi, and it will reset the checking for updates. And then it should bypass it ready to the making sure you're ready to install notification. Next is going to make sure your PC has enough space. Okay, so we've got to the bit which is important, so ready to install. So it says here it's gonna install Windows 11 Pro. Also, it's gonna keep your personal files and apps. Now this is the important bit, obviously, if it doesn't say this bit, you've done something wrong and it is gonna essentially nuke your system. So yeah, we're looking good at the moment. So let's click on install and uh, fingers crossed. Okay, seems to have rebooted for the last time. So oh yeah, let's see if we can log in. More updates. Please no. Oh God. Okay. Well, it seems that we're okay. And there we go. Windows 11 version 25 H2 OS build. That appears to be the right one. And everything appears to be working. That's fantastic. Well, it was all looking good and yeah, it was too good to be true. So I've basically just wasted an hour or so trying to remove this. It does appear that I'm still enrolled in the Windows Insider program and the smart lock is still disactivated or deactivated. It's been a trying time, nervous. The system is basically still in the same situation it was previously, so I haven't ruined anything. But for those of you that are on the Windows Insider program and you want to get out of it, Essentially, you are gonna be looking at a completely fresh install, which absolutely sucks. Although, there's one more thing I can try. So yeah, a little bit of a failure here. So this is a word of warning. I'll amend the video thumbnail and also the title to say that, yeah, this cannot be done, or at least it doesn't appear to be done. Now, I'm reaching out to you. If there are any of you out there that know how to remove myself from the Windows Insider program on this PC, Without having to do a complete reinstallation of Windows, I will be very grateful to hear your input. But unfortunately, on that bombshell, I think that's going to wrap this video up. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. If you have, smash that like button. If you want to see more content of like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and also the chime notification. That way, you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully, we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching. Okay, so you've just watched the uh, the video through, hopefully, and you've just seen my outro as well. So again, just to reiterate, don't do what I did in the video. It can destroy your PC. I've got to the point now where 
This PC has had a completely fresh install from scratch. Um, at the moment, Windows Smart App Control is in the evaluation stage. So I'm just praying that it doesn't switch itself off because if it turns itself off, it will not come back on again. Hopefully, if I don't put any third-party apps on for a while, it will learn the system, so to speak, and it will enable the feature. Not great. And I've still got problems with my video editing PC, which still at the moment says that smart app control is disabled, even though I've never disabled it on that computer, only on the same Microsoft account, which again, I think is absolutely terrifying that some of the settings which you can put in, which are basically completely disastrous, meaning you have to do a completely fresh installation of Windows. Potentially you might get away with a Windows reset, but again, you still got to reinstall most of your apps. It only keeps things like App Store apps and your kind of my document settings. This isn't great. So just a word of warning, obviously don't do what I've done in this video. Don't turn off smart app control. If people tell you to do it, just triple think, are you gonna be happy with this being off? indefinitely or until you do your next full fresh windows install for me i didn't want this to happen and hopefully it doesn't happen to you so anyway hopefully you've enjoyed the video if you have do all the usual youtube stuff leave a like if you want to and potentially share this video with others to make them aware of the consequences of disabling smart app control on your system because yeah it can affect other programs as well it isn't really necessarily just downloads and things like that in apps it's also other things so things like the amd adrenaline app relies on smart app control to actually function so if you're trying to make changes to your graphics card perhaps then yeah basically you won't be able to so do bear that in mind it is quite a significant thing in windows 11 and can be very very disruptive to your workflow and may need you having to do a completely fresh installation which is an absolute pain anyway thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed it please share this video thanks very much